Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about how we can link Commissar with Grafana in a very easy hands-on tutorial. As a SRE DevOps engineer or developer, I'm sure you're already juggling a bunch of open source tools and your stack can potentially be pretty big already. Uh, when it comes to monitoring, you might uh, not necessarily want to diversify and have a bunch of different dashboards to look at. You might already be pretty heavily invested in Grafana. We're going to build a quick and simple uh, Docker Compose file, which is going to have everything we need. We'll explore a simple use case connecting three different cloud providers, and we'll take it from there. Hopefully you'll be able to see just how easy it is to plug into your dashboards all of the data that comes here very conveniently fetches for us, and you can continue building and customizing your Grafana dashboards the way you're already used to. So if that works with you, let's jump right in. Okay, so the best way to get started, um, in my opinion, would be to head over to the Tailwind blog, where you'll be able to find one of the latest blog posts, which is this one, which is Harnessing Commissar and Grafana for Custom Dashboards. What you'll find here is the just the easy steps to get up and running. You'll also find, well, you'll also find the link to the code that uh, that you can easily run if you want to try this yourself. The, the, the link will send you over to this uh, GitHub gist with a config.toml file example, a, a Docker Compose file, which we'll look at right now. And you'll also be able to uh, grab the JSON from the example Grafana dashboard that we're going to build just a little bit later on. So just to look at the config.toml file, for those of you who don't know, the config.toml file, it's the file where we add our credentials for our different cloud providers that we want Commissar to fetch resources from. In this demo, we're going to be adding an AWS account and we're going to be giving it the name production. We're also going to be adding a MongoDB Atlas account and giving it uh, the name staging. And the same with uh, a Civo account, giving it the name development. This will come into play a little bit later on when we want to make the dashboard interactive and to toggle between these different environments, which in this case is just three different cloud providers. Since Postgres is a supported Grafana data source, we're going to use it as our data persistence method. So that's pretty much all we need to know when it comes to the config.toml file. Just moving on to the Docker Compose file, we're going to be needing three different bits of infrastructure. The first thing is um, an instance of Commissar. We're also going to provision uh, Grafana and uh, Postgres. Just a couple of things to keep in mind. Since we are using the config.toml file, we're going to mount it here as a Docker volume. And since the AWS cloud integration uses the credentials file, we're also going to mount the credentials file um, in another volume. I also want to make sure that the Postgres DB is up and running before the Commissar instance. Uh, runs because if it's not then commissar will fail so that's why i added the depends on flag right here another peculiarity is that by default commissar and grafana run on the same port so as you can see here i'm exposing port 3001 for grafana and um, leaving the default uh, for commissar also just to keep things simple i'm adding these values for the db name the user and the password um, additionally, locally, I have the Docker daemon running, as you can see right here. I've already uh, run this Docker Compose file. So as you can see, we have some containers that are in exited mode at the moment. But let's uh, bring them up. So I'm going to head over to my uh, local terminal here. Just going to show you the two files. These are the files that we're looking at right there, just with my credentials. So let's run the Docker Compose up command. And this is where you'll find the output. I'm seeing the expected output here, which is the commissar output showing that uh, resources are being fetched in the background. So that's uh, pretty cool. Let's go over to commissar just to make sure. I'm just going to rerun this localhost 3000. Yeah, everything is working. And this is the dashboard that you get for commissar by default. But of course, the idea of this particular uh, walkthrough is to use a different dashboard. We don't necessarily want to see everything here in this inventory. We want to use 
Grafana. So let's go over to the Grafana dashboard to start doing that. So I, as I mentioned, we're running on localhost 3001. Um, I've already um, accessed Grafana before, but you, if it's the first time that you're doing it, you'll be prompted to add a, the, a user and password. By default, it's admin admin. And then once you add that, it's going to prompt you to change the password. But once you've done that, you'll find this dashboard. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is add our first data source. And of course, in our case, it's a Postgres database. So let's go over here and you're going to look for Postgres. As you can see, I've already added the values here. The name of the database is Commissar, the host Postgres at a default port 5432. Commissar and Commissar is the database name and username. And once we're ready, I've also added the password here, which in this case is also Commissar. Once you're ready, you're just gonna press uh, save and test just to make sure that the database connection is okay. In our case, it is. Let's move on and start creating our dashboard. And of course, you can feel free to create a dashboard completely from scratch, building each widget out. Over here in the blog post, you can see how you would do that by going into each widget and configuring the data source and working through the different visualizations and the different queries that uh, makes sense for you. But in case you want to have something that looks a little bit similar to this, at least as a starting point, feel free to head back over to the GitHub gist and copy this Grafana dashboard that we've already uh, pre-built. So go ahead and copy this JSON. And once I have it, let's go over to the dashboard section, click on new, and we're going to import. And you can just simply paste the JSON right here and load. We're gonna give it a different name, call it Commissar dashboard and simply press import. So as you can see, we have the different widgets here, but there's something going on with the data source. So let's go one by one and make sure that the correct data source has been selected. So I'm going to go over to the three dots here in the top. I'm going to click on the default commissar data source and I'm going to run the query. Okay, cool. So we're going to do this for each one. So we're going to want to run the query I'm going to want to click and run the query at least once to make sure that we have the information correctly imported. Great. So as you can see, we have the widgets with information, but the original dashboard uses a Grafana feature, which is the dashboard variable. And we can see that it's here, but if we click it, we don't see any of the variables. So we're going to want to, um, reconfigure this dashboard variable from scratch. So let's go over to the dashboard settings, head over to variables, directly delete the variable, and I'm gonna add it again. And since we're going to want to expose the different account names, so production, staging, and development, we're going to pass in the following query. We're gonna give it the name account. The data source is going to be the default Postgres DB, and the query is gonna be select distinct account from resources. And let's run this query. Cool, we see the preview of the values. These are the values that we were looking for, staging, production, and development. Cool, so now we have them, we can head back over to the dashboard. So now that we have the variables exposed, we're going to have to change the query for each widget to include the value filter. So let's have a look at how we would do it for cloud accounts. So here we can see the query, which is to do account on the distinct accounts from resources. But now we want to filter where account is equal to the value of account, which is the name of the variable that we exposed. Let's run this. Cool. So staging, we have one cloud account with the name of staging. This is perfect. So let's apply this and we'll do the same for the rest of the widgets. And now that we've edited each widget query, we can uh, toggle between the different environments, getting the different results, which uh, are associated to the different cloud providers that we've created. So hopefully you can see just how easy it is to, to simply fetch the resources using Commissar, loading them all in the Postgres database, simply 
using that specific database as your new data source and building widgets using that data source. Hopefully you can either build your own new Grafana dashboards or you can use this commissar data in your existing uh, Grafana dashboards. What we want to do is to, for you to be as free and as flexible as possible and for you to have quick, easy and frictionless access to your multi-cloud resources. I hope you found this helpful and informative. Thanks so many for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.